Hi, this is Miles Marie, the soldier of Mary. I want to talk about five ways to help you to pray the rosary better. Maybe you're someone that's praying loads of rosaries every day. Maybe you're someone that's just trying to get one rosary said. Maybe you've got children that are distracted as you pray the Holy Rosary together. I've got five methods, five strategies to help you to pray the rosary better. Okay, let's look at these five methods. First of all is a simple method of listening to the rosary as you pray it. For some people, it's a big challenge to both do the beads and also to think of the Hail Marys. Other people, it's a big challenge not to have someone responding when they pray the rosary if they're doing it on their own. If you listen to an audio, like some of these ones on YouTube that I have in front of you, I've listened to some you can see myself uh, by this channel, Communion of Saints, it really helps. It can really help. And there are some, if you have a podcast player, you can find some podcast episodes where rosary is being said. And all of these can really help some people to pray the rosary. And these ones here also have music playing at the same time as the rosary in the background to help to calm you, to focus you on the rosary. This can be really good. It can be a great way to help you to pray the rosary. Second is a method that I don't know if I invented it. I called it the Google Images Rosary. I've got a different uh, search engine here anyway, but the Google Images Rosary. Well, what you do is you, you type in, in an image search, the name of the mystery, and then you click one of the mysteries, and then you begin your decade. And for each bead on the decade, you just look at another picture. And you know, it's amazing how helpful this can be in praying the rosary, at least I have found it really helpful, the Google Images rosary. Again, one thing is you think, how long do I spend on each mystery? And what about the counting 10 Hail Marys, 10 pictures for 10 Hail Marys? What I do when I'm doing this way of praying the rosary is I just focus a little bit, one eye on the clock, the bottom corner of the screen. And I just think, okay, I don't know if I'm going to be able to say 10 Hail Marys. But what I'll do is I'll look at pictures and say Hail Marys for three minutes or five minutes. And then I'll move on to the next one. So you might say more than 10 Hail Marys. You might say uh, fewer than 10 Hail Marys. Um, sometimes, I, like I said, you might do three minutes. That way the, the five decades, the five mysteries last 15 minutes. But... You know, that way you've got to be counting in threes with your clock. And although that's all, that's pretty easy for most of us doing the three times table, you can, it's funny how you can actually forget, oh, was it, was it 28 when I started this decade? So that means I go to the next one at 31. Or was it 29, which means I go at 32. It can actually be easier just to spend five minutes doing each of the mysteries. That way, if you start at a round number, you don't forget so so easily and it uh, helps you to just focus on the mysteries it's amazing how many beautiful works of art there are for the rosary and if you just sort of load up an images search it can really help to pray the rosary and i notice that for children there's an app or a book which this person has made which looks like it could be really nice for children you see this is a the first mystery of light the baptism of our lord and there's a little picture um for the child as they're praying the rosary uh for each bead i don't know if there's text given also but it looks really nice and this could be great for your children you can see the there's a whole series of books that have been created okay so that's the second method the third method is continuing on that bead by bead theme but this time with images, this time with texts. And if of all the methods of praying the rosary, this is the one I find most helpful. I think it's because I'm really, uh, I love taking in information. I love to focus on something concrete. And so for me, a set of meditations where you have a text for every bead is really helpful. So the idea is I've, I've put on my screen here meditations taken from Blessed Mary of Agrida. And it gives us a small text from her mystical city of God for each bead of the decade. And the idea is you are mentally reading the text as you say out loud 
the Hail Mary. And you do that for each one. Sometimes when I want to pray the really the rosary really slowly, let's say I'm doing an all night vigil, and actually I want the rosary to take longer because it passes more time of the night. Bead by bead is really great because you know you you might spend a minute thinking about each sentence and saying the Hail Mary, and then you've done ten minutes on one decade, and so you know that way a rosary takes a long time. You pass the night quicker and in prayer so there's there's a couple of website with bead by bead rosary meditations there are also some books if you uh, want a really thorough book there's this one here holy rosary through the visions of blessed Anne Catherine Emmerich and Anne Catherine Emmerich had some amazing visions of the life of Our Lady and our blessed Lord you can see in this compilation here a picture text our father hail mary and then for each bead you know a fairly substantial bit of text from the saints writings for all the mysteries of the rosary yeah as you can see so for kindle this costs almost nothing that's it that's for great britain the kindle price is pretty low if you want to use a kindle if you want to use a book it's not expensive either and you can buy it uh, on Amazon or Catholic Way Publishing. Okay, the next method is what you could call Rosary of Intercession. I just searched for Rosary of Intercession on, on the search engine. I have in mind what I'm going to refer to. This man here, Vinnie Flynn, has a Rosary of Intercession and the gist is similar to his. The idea is that in the rosary, if you're finding yourself getting distracted, maybe you should think about a concrete individual or an individual or a cause for each decade of the rosary. So, for instance, as you go into the Annunciation, the angel visiting Our Lady, telling her, asking her to be the mother of God, the word becoming flesh. At that moment, maybe you think of a particular religious sister who's consecrated her virginity to the Lord. Or maybe you think of a particular woman who's expecting a baby. Maybe all women expecting babies, struggling in a pregnancy or something. Then the second mystery, visitation. Maybe you think about, maybe someone you've got to visit that day praying for them maybe someone who's going traveling today praying for them and then that's how you do each of the mysteries of the rosary you still link it to the mystery in some way in some way you still link it to the concrete mystery that you're looking at but you focus on a particular person or a cause for those 10 Hail Marys and actually it can help it can help focus you at least you're not thinking about what you're going to cook for dinner at least you're not thinking about um you know is the cat need to be fed or something i don't know um you're focusing on on prayer raising your heart and mind to god in the presence of our lady okay so that's four different ways of praying the rosary better finally one last suggestion is to make the total consecration to our lady Read the book, The True Devotion of Mary, and make the total consecration to Our Lady. Why am I saying this as a, I, as a suggestion to pray the rosary better? It's simply because if you grow in love for Our Lady by reading True Devotion and consecrating yourself to her, your heart is more united to Our Lady. Seriously. And so you do find it easier to pray the rosary, and you see a greater depth to the rosary. This book also has some beautiful words about the rosary in it. Um, and you pray the rosary as one of Our Lady's children, as one of her slaves. Making the total consecration to Our Lady can really help you in praying the rosary better. And it's a sign to God that you want to pray the rosary better. You want to be more devoted to Our Lady. And God does not ignore that intention. So I put on your screen this version this version of the true devotion and that's because it's a really good quality version and furthermore 
you can actually uh, download it for free on the publisher's website. He's so the publisher is so zealous to spread true devotion that actually you can download Kindle, EPUB, PDF version of the book, which has all the prayers you need to make the prepar to make the consecration to Our Lady. It has all the preparatory prayers for consecration to Our Lady. You can see I've got uh, the PDF version here, which has the text. And then at the end, you can see it has the prayers you need for the true devotion. I hope that this video might help you to pray the rosary better. Please share with me if you have any other methods that have helped you to pray the rosary better so that each one of us can be saying as many roses, rosaries as we can each day and saying them with as much devotion as possible. May Almighty God bless you. May Our Lady intercede for you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.